So I was asked the other day how I deal with haters. And the truthful answer is, I don't. If I had a, a butcher's, right, really good butcher's, and there were vegans outside, oh, I fucking hate your butcher shop. Hey guys, fuck off. They're never gonna benefit my life. So the people that are in the comments or that leave bad reviews on my book or my podcast, I very much doubt they're gonna do a one star review and then fucking jump to purchase the next thing. They are the vegans outside of my shop. But in the modern world, we take feedback and comments and interactions on social media as if that person is sat right in front of us, but they're not. And the animosity that comes with Twitter and comments and profiles without even display pictures allows people to hide behind these facades to give this kind of abuse. And all they're really looking for is for me to react. The only time I will ever truly react is when it's gonna benefit my brand, when I can roast someone or make them look even more like a, like a cunt. And again, I use the word cunt uh, because it triggers people and it makes them really angry and oh, I can't believe this guy. And then they will comment saying, please don't swear, which benefits the algorithms favorably, which benefits me. And people that complain about your swearing are probably gonna buy your product and just complain about it because they're a fucking snowflake. Do you see where I'm going with this? It's important to get criticism, but it's only important to really take it from people that are gonna benefit your life. And if they're not gonna buy your services or respect your services, then they are the vegan outside the shop. You should never take criticisms from people that you wouldn't go to for advice. You might go into your paying clientele for advice. Hey guys, what do you think of what I'm doing? Cool, feedback. But criticisms from fucking nobodies and random cunts on the internet, not a good idea. Accepting these criticisms is a choice. Being offended by them is a choice. Deciding to throw a fucking pity party through accepting those criticisms as true is a choice and you need to make better choices. Quite simply, I do. I enjoy polarizing my crowd. I like winding people up because even when they're triggered, it benefits the algorithms. Never have we lived in an age where we can take so much criticism from so many people. And it's worth noting that if a hundred people were to say something nice and great about you, but one person was to say something bad, that one thing would outweigh the 100 good things in your mind. That is human nature. So it's very normal you feel that way. But at the end of the day, there's no point worrying over whether or not you're good at selling sausages to fucking vegetarians or vegans. How to deal with hate and criticism? Don't, you don't need to.